At this point, I'm going to briefly touch on the different panels and some of the tools associated with them. The first panel I'm going to discuss is the clip bend panel. Now, I know I've called it the clip bend panel, but honestly, if you click on anything other than clip bend, it'll of course direct you to the, the panel will change to match with whatever you selected. So in this case, I have library selected, and thus I have a multitude of options for theme music, uh, theme still backgrounds, various options to insert with inside of my timeline or my track. Also, I have callouts, pan and zoom, audio manipulation. So this is not just the clipped in panel. This is a panel uh, based on whatever tabbed option that you've actually selected. On the right here, we have our canvas. Our canvas is essentially how we are previewing our video. So at this moment, I have <coughs> the item that grade in, which is the toggle pan mode. This allows me to, as you can see in the directions, essentially move around the video within my preview canvas area. Now that's not gonna affect your final output, your final video that you create. Instead, this is just to help you with uh, locating a better spot based on your resolution of your screen uh, that you're working with. So place it wherever you feel comfortable to be able to visually see what's going on. Why would this be important? Let's say I were to increase the canvas zoom to something about 300 or 200%. So obviously I can't view the whole video, but I can view a section simply by panning over and toggling in through to the section I would like to look at. Let's bring this back down to about 50% or we can just click on shrink to fit to shrink it back within our, our window. Also, you could toggle between different options. So I could click on the crop option. I probably wouldn't want to do this, but maybe you would. And you could simply crop out a section of your video. And I'll leave behind a black box uh, for the rest of the canvas in your video. Let me bring back that area that I cropped out. Again, I probably wouldn't suggest doing that. Lastly, if you want to get a good visual, in this case, I can't really easily see what's going on in my video. So if I wanted to more or less zoom, and again, this is just a preview. If I wanted to switch to full screen mode, then that'll definitely allow me to visually see my entire video. So I'll hit the space bar to play. Looks like there's a black box. Let me put my time, this time bar right here, the, the playhead, back into the right spot. So I'll just drag and drop it to a different location on the timeline. So let me put it at one minute and three seconds. Hit the play button. Our canvas section contains essentially the switch to full screen of whatever video content that you have inside of the timeline. So that that would might be helpful if if you have a hard time seeing. Uh, your entire video and you want to more more or less see a specific spot that you're trying to just discuss Again, this is your canvas. This is what you're going to use to help preview what you're working with and wherever you are in, um, Whatever your part that you're vi visually seeing in your canvas is based upon where this playhead is located on your timeline so you can see the markers over here indicating in this case 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, one minute, etc. So I can move this along my timeline, drag it across, scrub it across, if you will, to different parts, and then hit play. Camtasia Studio 8. Now let's focus on the track. So within the track section, you can see at this moment, I have three different tracks. Track one, two, and three. And I've already inserted a couple of clips at this point. Um, <clears throat> three, pretty much two different recordings. And you can see, um, right, let me go back to clip bin so it's easier to visualize. Um, 
you could see that track three actually holds the audio. And track three represents my webcam. So in this case, my webcam's not only picking up uh, the image of myself, but it's also the area where the audio file is being stored. So that's where Camtasia is thinking to store the audio. That's fine. And you can notice that whenever I select a specific track inside the canvas section, there's a highlighted blue ream around that area. So again, I'm on the webcam. While I have webcam engaged, you'll notice that it's got its own blue markers around. Of course, I can't really resize it here, but I, I could definitely move it around to different locations. And whenever I move my item around to a different spot, you'll notice that inside of the track section, we have what's called little key points. So I call these keyframes. And each one of these dots represents a point where uh, it's going to snap to the position that that webcam is located. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of content to go through. Uh, in this video, I only get to touch the ground base to get you started. Now let's go ahead and explore in a deeper mode uh, by using actual examples in the future videos to come.